It's funny how my argument has always been their description of mental disorders is basically a bunch of bullshit which allows them to perform eugenics and to politically abuse psychiatry. A perfect example would be Momentum for uh, Mental Health on their website. You know, they have um, different places in Palo Alto. They have a place in San Jose, not far from Verde. Um, they say things like, it's a disorder of the brain, you know. Eventually, they're going to do a complete turnaround and say, I was right, you know, after they drug people and make as much money as they can off the death process. And when too many people become awake, they'll be forced to admit that I'm right. But now they've shifted from this chemical imbalance thing. You know, they pretty much left the chemical imbalance phrase off their webpage. And now they've shifted toward everything I said is considered, but you still need to take medication kind of approach which is completely pathetic, it's disgusting. At least give me my credit before you use my work to try to downplay everything that you're doing and address the opposition view. You're pathetic. First you try to address the opposition view by saying, um, you know, it, it was that uh, reach for mental health San Jose or whatever it was. You tried to, try to, you tried to uh, address the opposition view by saying some dumb shit like, uh, oh, people who say mental disorders don't exist you know, are stupid, and that's like saying, you know, you're not allergic to something, and you go to the store, and you get that, and they force them to eat it, and they, you know, they try to make that angle. As soon as I shot that shit the fuck down, played them out, you know, disproved their chemical imbalance theory with their own Ivy League school studies, now they're coming back to address the things that I've been saying for years and years, but they're not doing it successfully. They're saying, oh, you need therapy. Nothing, if you look at their own webpage, nothing they're saying is a symptom that is not socially normative. Nothing they're saying is something that, you know, needs medication. But they're still saying, oh, take medication. You know, for example, they say euphoric behavior is a symptom of a mental disorder. It's also a symptom of drinking wine, uh, winning a basketball game, you know, um, psh, a long list of other things. They say slurred speech. It's also a symptom of smoking weed, of, of, you know, being in a certain state of mind, you know, and, and a long list of other things, you know. Um, what else do they say? Oh, speaking quickly or being easily distracted. It's, it's symptoms of being in a state, a state of mind. You know, I see that every day. You go to, go to any fast food restaurant, you know, all those people are easily distracted. I don't think I've ever been to a drive through or, or Togo's or Subway where the person wasn't easily distracted. Uh, easily agitated? Are you kidding me? That's what it means to be an American. What it means to be an American is to be is to have a belief that you can affect world events, to be easily agitated, to have moments where you're feeling euphoric. That's what it means to be an American, you fucking idiots, you dumb pieces of shit, you treasonous traitors, you scientific racists. Now, where was I? And then then you go on to look at, you know, they say, oh, environmental factors. Yeah. The people that fund you are the people that create these quote-unquote symptoms and then they turn around and drug people to death, drug people to their point of view and make a profit off the death, death process. You're a bunch of big pharmaceutical puppets. You're pathetic. If there was any justice in San Jose, you would not only be shut down, you would be lined up and shot and your family stuff would be taken away from them because they're living off of blood money and it's disgraceful. It's disgraceful. At least when I live under my parents' roof, it's the money of, of a healer. You're living off blood money. You're a disgrace. You should take that shit to some small island. All you scumbags should go to some small island and try to push each other around. Instead of trying to push around the, the masses of the people who are sane while you're a bunch of psychopaths, a bunch of psycho, uh, psycho psych, scientific racists, eugenicists, nepotists, cultural imperialists, narcissists, your filth, your scum. You're the type of heathens that are going to burn in hell. I promise you that. So when I, you know, when I break it down to them, don't be surprised when God hears what I'm saying and their families are cursed for seven generations if the filth lasts that long, which I assure you they won't. Thank you. This video is for every gang member in Eastside San Jose. I respectfully ask you to either take my side or stay out my beef with momentum, mental health. I know they have scraps working for them, people who are in racist white groups, whether they're bikers, skinheads, etc. As well as 
some homeboys who are associated with some PC cases. I would kindly ask you to consider your fate as well as your family's before you make the stupid decision to side with them. I assure you the masses of the gangs in San Jose are going to take my side. Those who do not, the term mainline will become a foreign language to them. They'll, they'll have no understanding for what it means because they're doomed to walk PC for the rest of their life if they live. 